Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do this. Today I'm going to be opening this Pokemon Center exclusive Lee Trainer Box. I can finally get Pokemon Center exclusive products for retail because the Pokemon Center Online has released in the UK now. My first experience with a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box was the Pokemon Celebrations one and man that box was fire. If you want to see that, link in the description down below. But now I can finally open up a main set with the Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. So without further ado, let's get it. So on the front, the difference between this one is on the, the normal trainer box. Link in the description down below as well if you want to watch that, guys. That's already been, been opened. Um, the main, the normal one is like pure white with gold accents. This one's more like a, I'll say sunny yellow. It's white on top, well, faded white because of the sun, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Arceus is the god, I don't know, something like that, but yeah. So, no more Legion Box is more white and gold accents. And then this one's like a sunny yellow with white accents, I guess. And yeah, enough of the babbling. Here's all sides of the early trainer box. There you go. And on the back. So these are the differences that come in the box. So you get 10. Sword and Shield booster backs, Brilliant Stars booster packs instead of 8. 65 cards is featuring Arceus, which are different, which I'll show you in detail later. A deck box this time, which I think maybe that's going to be a regular thing now with Elite Trainer boxes, the Pokemon Center ones. They're going to add deck boxes. They didn't before as far as I can remember. 45 Pokemon TCG Energy cards, a player's guide, Pokemon TCG rule book, 6 damage counter dice, 1 competition legal coin flip die, 1 metallic coin featuring Arceus, 2 acrylic condition markers, 1 acrylic V-style marker, a collector's box to hold everything with 4 dividers to keep it organised, and a gold card for Pokemon training card game live. And yeah, let's get it guys, let's get it! So far, so far, Elite Trainer Box Lock for me has been really, really good. Inside is the same. Yep, right, toss that side. Player's Guide. I've gone a little bit more in depth in this in my normal Elite Trainer Box opening. Again, link in the description. On that side, it looks like the inside of the box is the same. Yes, it is. I'm surprised they managed to fit a deck box in this with 10 extra packs as well. It's exactly the same size as the normal one. And if you might have noticed just then, this is like more of a full art version of Arceus. And this is a more zoomed in version. Alright. Ah, I see. So that's what they did. Alright, so let's kick things off with the deck box. Here is the deck box. With Arceus in the middle. Basically posing over the sun. Side. That's the back of your pure, I want to say cold, Arceus. That's that side, that's the bottom. There's the top. I think I'm banging my mic, sorry guys, if that's low enough it is. Here's the inside. I'm guessing your cards and then your accessories in that compartment with a Velcro tab to keep it secure. And that is your deck box, guys. That is your deck box. Let's put this right there. Let me pull this out. Training card game rules. No one wants to see that. Put that aside. Ooh! Oh, I think I prefer the white ones. I think I prefer the regular trailer. These ones are silver instead of gold. Mm. So silver with that matte finish. Or the gloss finish. Frosty finish, sorry. And then more of a gold on the back with the silver Arceus. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these ones. No, I'm not a fan. The regular ones are better, definitely. Here's the 
There's your cold card. Brick of energies. No one wants to know what those. Put those aside. Your deck dividers. I think these are the same as the regular ones as well. Yep, same as the regular ones. Your V star marker, which this one I won't open because I've opened it up a couple of times on the channel, guys. The uh, Leafy and Glacier on V star box. Open up on the channel. The regular Electron box, they come with those. So if you want to see those in detail. Same looking dice again. I've already opened these as well in detail. There you go. Acrylic markers. And you get a metallic coin. When they say metallic, I thought it was actually going to be metal. But no, it's not. It's just, I think the this is metallic. The silver itself is metallic. I guess if it was metal, they would have said metal. Did they? I'm not sure if they did or not, but yeah. And there's your coin. And this should be 10 packs, but if Pokemon has a track record of not including all the packs, it could be wrong. Alright, so let's put the Legion box aside. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine and ten perfect. Yep, so ten packs. And let's start off with the whimsical pack. Are these gonna be soft open like the last one? Kind of. The last elite trainer box that I had to open that I opened, I had to use scissors because the packs were like tight. Like absolute tight. Couldn't get them open for the life of me. So I had to cut them open. And as always guys. Two cold cards. So we'll start things off with metal energy. All I'm looking for now is anything for the binder, pretty much. So if I can pull any V, any training gallery card, full art that I can add to my binder, collector buzz. Of course, the reverse hollows, which I definitely need for the binder, and a flight one. Which I think I do need the collector buzz, so that's a good one if I do need it. Hopefully, I do. I don't really want to spoil it for you if this is your first video guys if it is your first video links in the description to the other two products that i've opened the booster box and elite trainer box and then if you enjoy those and you enjoyed this video i'd appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe turn notifications on i upload on sundays mondays and thursdays up to with the name nose pass snow runt twerk Turtwig Reverse, I think I've already caught that one And the Heatran Will this... No, I'm not going to cut it open so it's fine Will this Elite Trainer box? I mean the Celebrations one that I opened Oh By now hopefully you've watched it If you haven't I'll spoil it anyway I'll spoil it I pulled My last Chase card The only card that I needed left for that Celebrations Was the Shiny God Mew and I pulled it from the Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer Box Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box and a Reverse Mute, I don't need that And a Garchomp Polo, which I do need Alright, so let me sleeve that one up Alright, something for the binder, nice, nice, nice With Brilliant Stars now Because it's... Well, I guess I'm gonna spoil it Yeah, I'll spoil this one I already pulled my Chase card, which is um the Houndoom character rare so anything extra is just for the binder and I'll be happy with so putting a guard trump hollows even I'm happy with as long as it can go into the binder ultra ball kindler pachirisu bidoof a fairy primer execute farfetch but to be honest this Elite Trainer box so far I probably jinxed it for my Sorry, got the hiccups, got the hiccups I probably jinxed it for myself on the last video Oops, sorry, the mic as well 
because of how tough that one was to open. But my elite trainer box luck is, is normally good. Well, so far, so good. It's been good. From all the elite trainer boxes I've actually opened. I haven't had a full that box, which can happen. Lightning Energy, Eva, Lightning Gala. And then I probably jinx myself now. And why would I jinx myself on the better version of the Elite Trainer box that I'm opening? Chimeco, Reverse Chimcha, I think I need that one hopefully. And there is something on the back of this one. Oh my days. Secret rig, gold, Galarian Moltres. I've pulled my favorite. Yes, my favorite version of the legendary, but. Oh my days, the luck is insane. My luck. I'm sure you'd have seen if you watched the booster box. My luck so far with Brilliant Stars, I think. Brilliant stars in general, the pull rates and the luck with it is just insane. But you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We didn't take a good look at it. So excited that I just wanted to sleeve it. Oh, look at that view. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that beauty! Wow! Oh my! Oh my! What a beauty! Let's see on the back. Yeah, it's a little off center. Elite trainer box. <sighs> I feel like I should buy more elite trainer boxes. Elite trainer boxes seem to be where I've pulled the heat most of the time. Wow! Yes! Ooh! Happy done. This this box. Perfect. Great. That's it. The rest can be nothing. That's it. The rest can be nothing and I'll go home happy. Oh, I'm already home. Happy. But I guess I can go to sleep. End this video. High, High five. five. Very happy. Oh my. Prodon. Magma Basin. M on top. Trapinch. Gibble. Weasel. But then again, when I think about it, that could have been an Arceus. Ghost Arceus, Magmortar, Reverse Holo, which I'm sure I've already got, and a Manaphy. Wow. I always think that, like, pulled that gold card, and it could have been Arceus. Or in terms of what people seem to be wanting most, I guess is the Arceus and the Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball seems like a heat one. Speaking of heat, fire energy, money pride, in your chair. Wait, I didn't give you the code card. There you go. Fracture, Perfect. Shinx. Cup two. Dene. Nose pass. Let's go! Yes! Another trainer gallery that I don't have. Oh my days. Oh but look at the cut on that. Look at the corners. Wow. Corners are terrible. Corners are terrible. Look at the corner on that one. All right, and the luxury. This is beautiful and so far, again, I feel like I'm going to just keep thinking myself by saying these things. No double ups of the hitters that I want. I've only doubled up on hollow so far. Nothing of the ultra rarity. Or trainer gallery rarity. But I think the trainer gallery rarity rarity would be easier to double up on. Water energy, flying, fairy, bottle, electro buzz, a doof, a fairy, primer, execute, and the reverse core fish. Not too sure if I need that, hopefully I do. And a bibarrow. Bibarrow is a double up. Bibarrow is yep, barrel is a double up, so I won't see that one. And two packs left, two packs left. Will the god bless me in this pack? The god himself.
Psychic energy. Wait, I've got two packs left and three core cards, so let's give you an extra one. There you go, I must have missed one because I was so excited. Psychic energy. It's Rollers, Premonition, Play Doll, Collect Stadium, Turtwig, well, Piplock, Remesh, Pro, Cars Form, Reverse Ace Rollers, Premonition, not sure if I need that, and a Hexorus. Alright, Lost Pack Shaman, Lost Pack Shaman. Will Shaman bring me that Lost Pack magic? Metal energy and your last cold card. Metal energy. Good luck with those cold cards, guys. Good luck with those cold cards. Sorry, I was just smacked in the back of the head. Or the front of the head. Tropius, Torture Ball, Cordon, Piplop, Trap Inch, Turtwig, Gibble, Chameco, Reverse Farfetch. So hopefully, I need that, which I think I do. And the Ice Cube. So, no last pack magic, but I think it's a Reverse Farfetch that I actually need. So, good. And it's time for a recap, guys. Time for a recap. Nothing much to the recap, but it's expected for an elite trainer box. But we've got a hollow bit barrel, hollow guard trunk, which I need for the binder, trainer gallery, Ariados, and oh my days. <sighs> can't believe I pulled this. I can't believe I pulled this already. This, I would say, honorable chase card. Most likely. In this set, there's only there's only one chase card, which was the Houndoom for me. The rest, I'll be happy to take, but I wouldn't say I'm chasing. I'm chasing them, but just not. Don't I don't want it, want it like I wanted the Houndoom. So, all right. And on that note, guys, if you watched to the end of the video, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications for turn on notifications for more. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.